Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Covered, I'm Penge, and welcome to Stellar Settlers, which is a settlement builder colony simulator type of a game where we build on a planet out in the depths of space. We look after our people, we gather resources, we build a little base, which interestingly can be built vertically as well as horizontally. So we can build on the floor, that's fine, but then if we run out of floor space, we can just kind of stack things up on top of each other, we can just build our base up and up, which sounds quite fun, with the idea being to earn enough money to then build a great big rocket and fly off to a different part of space and do the whole thing again but on a more profitable planet a rather space capitalism i suppose now this is the demo of the game which is on steam right now as i record this and as always there is a link to their steam store page in the video description where you can go and check the game out a little bit more and also have a go at the demo if you would like to but anyway here we go let's get on with it shall we time to dive in and get stellar settling okay so it looks like our destination is going to be the catchily named planet gl94g why do we have to give it a name like that with that sort of random assortment of letters and numbers can't we give it a proper name like planet malcolm or planet deirdre or something just to make it seem a little bit friendlier and a bit more personable i think from now on we should call that planet deirdre and not planet gl 94 g so we're going to go down and have a look around planet deirdre it looks okay a little bit dry possibly a bit mountainy but there are little kind of grasses and pretty blue flowers and things so i think it'll be okay down on planet deirdre and because we haven't been there we have of course collected no artifacts at all so let's pop down to planet deirdre see how we get on and see see if we can find an artifact or three. Okay, now we get to pick up to five settlers to come down onto planet Deirdre and help us out a little bit, which is wonderful. So who can we choose from? We have Olivia, Matt, Liam, Harper, Isabella, Chloe, and Toomey. And then I think everybody else is currently locked away to us. All these people have kind of padlock faces. So I think really we have to choose five from the seven that we have available right now. So a couple of people are going to be left behind, which is a bit sad. So who can we pick? We can choose Olivia, good planner and leader, decrease resource generation times by 5%. That seems like quite a good thing. And you're a leader, which could be quite helpful. I think provisionally, let's pop you in, Olivia. That seems quite good. Matt is a talented civil engineer. Tunnels cost 20% less. I mean, that is slightly less helpful than that because I don't know how much tunnels are and I don't know how often we use a tunnel. I mean, if we only ever build one tunnel it being a little bit cheaper might not be overly useful. So, okay, we'll come back to you, Matt. Liam is a successful architect and they decrease pointy red triangle spending by 10%. Again, I don't know what that is. It sounds useful, but I'm not quite sure how useful. Harper is an alien planet cosmologist. They increase yellow thing generation by 10%. Again, I'm not quite sure how useful that is. Isabella is a former resource management consultant. Okay, that sounds quite good. Decrease all material spending by 5%. That seems quite good. All material spending coming down seems like a very handy thing. Chloe, who has come dressed as a superhero for this trip into space. Okay, I like it, Chloe. A lucky and optimistic leader. Okay, another leader. 10% chance to trigger a positive event twice. Okay, is that going to be handy? How often do they pop up? I'm not sure. And then Toomey is a spiritual, lovely, cheerful settler. We're having you. We're having you because you're lovely and cheerful. You do look, on your picture there, a little bit evil, if I'm honest. If I was looking at that, I would say that was the sort of picture of an evil person because you've kind of, you know, you've got slightly red eyes and horns. But you know what? Appearances can be deceiving. That's all fine. You can come along 20% chance to evade negative events. Okay, that seems quite good. So now... Who do we take? We've got two spaces left on the spaceship down to planet Deirdre. Who do we have? I think let's take Liam. So we'll take Liam to decrease pointy red triangle spending by 10%. That's got to be something to do with buildings because Liam is an architect. So maybe that means that our buildings are 10% cheaper. And now there is room for one more. I mean that there, a 10% chance to trigger a positive event twice isn't very much. That's not very high. We don't know how often we're going to build tunnels. I think maybe let's get Harper 
and Harper can increase our yellow thing generation by 10%. Hooray for 10% more yellow things. And I think with that done, we are now ready to make our journey down to Planet Deirdre. And we have landed on Planet Deirdre. Hello, Planet Deirdre. How are you? And hello, Olivia. How are you? Olivia's popped by to say hello. Welcome to your first ever settlement in Stellar Settlers. Thank you very much. Your goal is build a well-connected space station, harvest valuable resources, build a starship with parts you researched to escape the planet. Okay, look, three fairly reasonable goals. We can give it a go. Be aware, every planet has its own environmental challenges. Now press OK and start your demo game. Okie doke, Olivia. We will do just that. But before we go and do anything else, Olivia, we are of course going to ask the all-important question. Is Spacebar pause? And no, I don't think it is. I'm not quite sure what Spacebar does. What do you do, Spacebar? If I press Spacebar, the screen kind of flickers. I'm not quite sure what that's doing. Is it pausing? I can't see any time controls, so I don't think it's pausing. No, stuff is happening. Look, we're acquiring resources just by virtue of being on the planet, but I'm not sure if it pauses anything. What is it? Oh, oh, if you press and hold the space bar, it zooms out and you get to look at the map. I've never seen that before. In all my years of playing games, I've never seen Spacebar used as a press and hold to view the map button. Well, there you go. That's a shiny new thing. So I can't confirm that Spacebar is paused because I don't think there are time controls. Spacebar does give you a lovely view of the map, though. There is something over there that we might want to go and look at. Some sort of, I don't know, crashed pod or something. And then we've got little kind of points of interest. What's that? Life support material ore. That could be quite handy. Conductive material or energy material or more conductive material or that's not anything. That's what life support. That's building material or and that's energy stuff. OK, right. So a few handy things relatively nearby to us. So what do we have going on? So there's all of our settlers over there just hanging out in the headquarters, I imagine. And our current mission is to build a minor factory. And if we do that, we get given 10 red triangles. What are the red triangles? Building materials. Okay, so we've got life support material is the blue kind of water thing. Red triangles are building material. Then we've got energy. Then we have conductive materials. Then we've got inhabitancy. New settler arrives when full. Okay, so like housing or whatever. Then we have research credits. Oh, that's what Harper does. Harper does research stuff. Okay, right, that's quite handy. And then we have 150 storage capacity. Okay, what's that telling us? A meteor will hit the planet. Okay, <laughs> so in three minutes and 17 seconds, we might possibly get hit on the head by a meteor. Well, wouldn't that be wonderful? Okay, um, I mean, I assume we can't sort of you know, shoot it down or whatever because we haven't got any means to do so. So let's just hope it doesn't land on our head. Uh, right, what have we got to do? Choose a pod and place it on the planet ground. So we want to get a minor factory. So that's pods, is it? Uh, ah, okay. A minor factory. Okay, so we can put this on the ground. I don't think we can put it on top of there because it does say over here to put it on the ground. So yeah, maybe this is not one that can be stacked. Okay, so it can only go on the ground floor and you can't build on top of it. Okay, so where do we put this then? I mean, maybe over here, look. It's quite a lot of little sort of points to go mining over here. If we put that in the middle, what if we put it there? If we put it there, it's sort of near to that bit, that bit, that bit. It's not too far away from that bit, maybe. Um, yeah, OK. So if we put that there. OK, so we have a little miner factory. Connect pods with tunnels to operate. Oh, the tunnels are like little sort of corridor type things. Oh, I see. Right. I am with you. Um, oh. OK, maybe the chap who actually made tunnels cheaper would have been quite useful, but never mind. So we've got different types of tunnels. We've got straight ones, kind of one with a turn, one with a gentle turn, a three way tunnel. Oh, that might be quite handy if we plan ahead a little bit. And can we zoom out? What if we put a three way tunnel in like that and then have another tunnel bit kind of going off in that direction, possibly? Would that be useful in any way or maybe even that direction? Kind of down here looks. There's more stuff down here for us to grab. Maybe we'll do that. How does this work then? So we put that down. Okay, so we've got a little tunnel in the middle. And then I assume we're just going to snap that in like that and snap that in like that. Okay, there we go. That's now all done. So the headquarters is connected to the miner factory. Create a miner and hauler units to mine planet resources. Ah, okay, right. So our people don't go out and do this. 
They're kind of, you know, like advisors or whatever. They're in there doing paperwork and management stuff. So, okay, click on the miner factory. So create a miner for 10, whatever that was. What's that thing again? Oh, yeah, hang on, we're going to get hit by a meteor within the minute. Um, conductive material. Okay, so do that then, please. So we have a little miner and a little hauler. So we've made little teeny tiny sort of drone type things. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's a little vehicle with a drill on the front. That is wonderful. Okay, so that's now mined some of the life support material. And the little hauler bot is picking it up. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, um, we're going to create one and one. So we can have two each of those. And they can just go around the place and do some mining. Build storage entrance. Ah, okay, right, hang on a minute. You can change mine about resource priority by clicking on it. Ah, okay, so if we want to go mine, I don't know, the green stuff, we can say go and get that instead or whatever. Okay, um, we're fine with it right now. Um, okay, hang on a minute. What? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I think that's where the meteor might land. Okay, right. Meteor inbound and boom. And it's blown up the one thing that we've managed to build so far. Okay. <laughs> You're an entire planet to land on. And you've landed on the one structure we've made. Uh, right, hang on. Let's put it back in. We'll click it back in. Right, there we go. Hooray, wonderful. Um, create miner and hauler units to mine planet resources. Okay, we've done that. See connection status of pods by holding tab. Okay, they're all connected. That is good. Relocate structures while placing with R key or right click. Okay. Create two new hauler bots. Um, oh, okay. We've kind of done that already. Oh, are these things now sort of lost? Because our thing got blown up. Because, yeah, look, it says we can only have two out of four, but there's already some out here. I suspect maybe that's gone a bit weird, but okay. Right, build a new storage entrance. What does that mean? Storage entrance. So if we put that over here... How do the thing, how do the connecty bits work? It looks like it's, is it those red, is it those red bits? Are they the connecty bits or are they the connecty bits? Hang on, we can find out if we go to there. It's those bits. It's the big sort of doorway things. Okay, so we need to kind of bear that in mind when we put that down. So if we built a little storage thing over here and rotate the camera around. So if we built it, I don't know, just... Uh, where's the way round for that? If we built that there, look. So there's the door. So now how are we going to connect this up exactly? So it can come along like that. And then like that. Oh, when they... Oh, there's a little individual bits they kind of attach to. Ah, okay. Um, how's that going to... Ah, like that. And then like that. Okay, right. That's now connected. And now they can move stuff into that. Okie doke. This is wonderful. Self-sufficiency pods unlocked. Gain resources passively. What does that mean? Self-sufficiency pods. Gain resources passively. That sounds quite good. Connect pods with tunnels to operate. Okay, we will do that. I'm not quite sure what it means, but we will do some of that. Um, connect building pods. So now do we just need to do some building stuff? Choose a pod and place it on the ground. Build pods next to each other. Okay. Okay, right. So there's our, um, there's our meteor event. Uh, and yeah, if we build a few more pods... We can have 50 lovely building material triangles and 20 conductive materials. Okay, so greenhouse. Oh, I see. I see. Right, so a greenhouse gains the um, life support stuff. The miner pod gains whatever that is, building material. Solar panels is energy. Silicon factory is that thing. Okay, right. I see. I see. I'm with you. So let's have... I mean, yeah, can we stack these? Yes, okay. I mean, it would make sense for the solar panels to go at the top. So maybe in each of these, let's have a greenhouse and a greenhouse and then have solar panels and solar panels because that's quite fun. Assign a settler to a pod for additional bonuses. Okay, but the only thing is they are not connected. How do we do that? Oh, vertical tunnels. Oh, we're going to need to get some vertical tunnels in place, are we? Um, right. I hadn't factored in vertical tunnels. Oh. Oh, how is this going to work? How do we get these connected? I'm not quite sure. Um, I want that sort of connecting to there. Right, maybe. Is there a... Hang on, is there a demolish button or something? Is there a get rid of this button? Uh, 
Spaceship parts. Demolish mode. Okay, hang on. Sorry, I'm going to demolish some stuff because this is a terrible idea. Um, on the top of these, we will have... If we blow these up, this this is probably an awful way around doing it, but okay, never mind. Right, go to here. We will have solar panels on that bit there. And if we rotate it round to make sure we've got a door thing on there. That bit there. Okay. So then, oh no, that's, no, that's not correct. <laughs> that's not matched up with all the bits down here. Botherations. Okay. Uh, we might need to demolish that thing. Let's go back over here and, okay, vertical tunnel, connect that to that. Right. The solar panel is now working. So that'll start generating some energy material. This one, I think maybe I've possibly made a bit of a boo-boo again. So can we move things? Control panel. Does that allow us to move anything? Um, no, I don't know what that does. We'll come back to that. I don't think so. Right, get rid of that again. Sorry, folks. Sorry, I, I do apologize. Right, solar panels up on the roof. Um, and yeah, where's the where's the connecty bit? I think like that. There we go. And then we can just have a downward tunnel, vertical tunnel. Oh, no. Down. Hang on. These are just unlocked. Upward and downward tunnels unlocked. Oh, Okay, right, hang on. But we can do that to there. That connects that up. Right, so that's now sorted. So what are the other things we need to do? We need to connect another five pods. Okay, so let's get maybe over here, look. And then we can just have them all in a nice line. Uh, if we have a greenhouse, and then we can't have another greenhouse. Why is that? Why can't we have another one? Oh, because we haven't got enough materials. Oh, okay. <laughs> What do we need for a greenhouse? Uh, we need, oh, we need some conductive materials. We need a silicon factory. Okay, I might possibly not have done this very well. Okay, if we put that, we can't put them next to each other. Uh, we'll put that like that, and then we'll get some of these. Okay, we just lost that thing because it got hit by a meteor. The meteors are very, very particular. Okay, this is fun. So put that in like that and then connect that up with the tunnel. So that's now going to do something. That will hopefully... No, not that. That'll hopefully start making silicon, which we need to do all the stuff. Not silicon. Conductive material, apparently, which we need to do lots of stuff. So now if they just go and gather all this... So connect building pods. Well, yeah, we need like a four-way tunnel thing. Uh, a short razor, downward tunnel, and an upward tunnel. Uh, I mean, if we put some over here what if we put another structure over here maybe another one of these so yeah pop that we just have it next to that almost next to it well we'll put that like that and then we'll get another one of these in so like so and like so just in case we want to carry on down here somewhere and then i think we've got we've got two solar panels generating energy material we've got two silicon factories now we need to get in a terra minor pod and a greenhouse. If I get, yeah, get two, two, no, I've got loads of greenhouse stuff. I've got loads of life support stuff. So I get one of those in. Uh, maybe, maybe, has that got a thing on either side? Has that got a little doorway thing on either side? I don't think it has. That's a bit of a nuisance. Okay, never mind. Um, put that just there, and then we can have a three way tunnel leading a bit like that so that's connected up so now it's generating that and then i think we get two of these things so i think we can just about we can build one right now we need more of the yellow stuff uh okay terra minor pod so if we put one oh they're high up they're high up they're going to require a different type of um a different type of connecty tunnel thingamajig how are we going to do that they look like big cups of tea it's like a big handle on the side. I like it. We've got a cup of tea building. That's exciting. Uh, yeah, where can this go then? So if we put that over... How we going? Razor can help organise connections. Okay, what's... Okay, that's good. Up and down tunnels unlocked. Sign a settler to a pod for bonuses. Uh, quarters and lounge unlocked. Gain... Ah, population and morale. Okay, that could be quite a good thing. Vertically placed pods also need to be connected. Right, okay, I am with you on that one. That's all good. So, 
I think we need to get one of these in because we're not really acquiring any of the um, sort of red pointy triangles. So how about if we put if we put that just there, and then we'll go and see what this does. So a short razor. Um, does that just sit on top of things? Like, can the tunnels do this? Uh, we might need a. How does this work exactly? A downward? No, not like that. A downward tunnel coming from there, like that, and then an upward tunnel going sort of into here. Is that how that's going to work? I'm not quite sure how that does anything. Uh, if we just put a tunnel across like that, is that connected? Are they linked up? I'm not entirely convinced. Let's put another three-way tunnel in just to carry on the thing. Apparently that's connected. Looks a bit like a bodge effort to me, but it will do. <laughs> we will take the bodge effort. And I think, yeah, get another one of them in. Get another one of these. Another Terra Minor Pod thing. Uh, put that uh, there and then do the same thing again. Let's get in one of those bits like, oh, this is a bit fiddly. Put it there, please. There we go. And then have that coming across that way. Three-way tunnel bit going like that. And then just a straight bit going like that. There you go. So they're now connected. We get some lovely goodies from it. That is marvellous. So now build new greenhouses. We've already built the greenhouses. Um, we could do with getting a research station. That'd be quite good. But a lounge and a quarter would also be quite good. What if... Now uh, again, plus one percent, uh, what's that, morale of a signed settler every 12 seconds. Oh, that sounds quite good. That sounds like quite a good thing. Maybe let's get one of those in. Uh, what if we plug that in uh, just here? Just pop that there. Put that there. Uh, research pod unlocked. Gain research. That's what we want to see. We want to get research stuff underway. So do that. That connects up. And then maybe on top of that, can we put the lounge like so? And where are we going to get hit now? There's another meteor coming in. I assume it's going to land on some of our stuff because that appears to be the pattern of things. Go and land. There's a whole world. Go over there. Look, land over there, please. Big troublesome meteor. We'll find out in 40 seconds, I suppose. Um, yeah. What if then we get a downward tunnel and we put it there? Right, that connects up the other thing there. So now we've got, oh, was that two lounges? Oh, okay, I meant to put, oh, botherations. Okay, I meant to do things slightly differently, but never mind. Uh, we'll have a bit like that and another one of those on top. So two more quarters and then get those connected up in exactly the same way. Thank you so much, like that. Downward tunnel, boop. Right, it's gonna land over here. It's going to miss us unless it lands on the little kind of drone things. And down comes the meteor and boom. Okay, it just turns into useful things, which is marvellous. Right, so now we can build a research pod. Right, where is that? There we go. Research station. So again, a bit of research every game. One every five minutes. That's a bit slow, isn't it? Good grief. Um, if we put that... Why don't we put that there? Pop that in like that. For where's the um, where's the little doorway thing? Like that, look, and then connect that up here with a downward tunnel, uh, like so. That connects that up, and then we can assign people to them. So okay, assign Harper, because Harper is good at that kind of thing. You're good at science, so we're gonna gain some science every five minutes. What else we're we looking low on? Conductive material. Okay, who'd like to go and work over there? Um, Toomey. Toomey, you can go and work in there. That's fun. Yay for that. And we'll assign somebody else to go and work in that one, actually. Isabella can go and work in that one. So that should boost our conductive materials. And then in here, we've got Olivia or Liam. Um, 45 morale, 45 morale. Okay, Olivia can go in there. So the leader can go in there. And... Don't know what we do with the inhabitancy stuff, but uh, let's get Liam on that as well. There we go. So they're all doing something. And now the goal is to build two new greenhouses. Okay, that should be easy enough. Uh, we've got the materials to do so. It's just a case of where they're going to live now. I mean, yeah, we could just start stacking things. 
Let's just put them on there, look. Just for fun, because we can. That's part of the feature of the game. One there, and one there. And then, yeah, just connect them up with the tunnel things. Which aren't going to work anymore. Okay. Don't, don't connect them up like that. That doesn't work. Okay, don't do that then. <laughs> ah, connect them like... Oh, you can have high up connections. That's exciting. What if... Where's the other connection to this? It's just there. Um, right. That, oh, hang on, we might have to get one out this side. Do we need to? This is going to be a bit of a bother, is it? What if we put a vertical tunnel just there? That should connect that. That also should connect that because that is linked via that thing. But that's not worked. Bother. Right, how are we going to connect up that one at the top? Because it's not connected. It's telling us to build the minor pods. We've already built loads of these things, game. Uh, new settlers arrived. Oh, oh, it's it's literal new people up here. Oh, this is very good. Um, a skill energy expert. Ah, tunnels cost 30% less. I don't quite know how much they are. Or increase bot movement speed. Landon, we will have you. Maddie is only 11. A train scout and recon expert at 11. <laughs> Blimey. Okay, that's very good. Uh, we'll have you to bring the cost of tunnels down because now we know that we need tunnels. So, uh, yeah, we'll have one of those, please. The other thing is, how are we going to connect this? How are we going to do this bit? Uh, can we take out that? What if we put a three-way tunnel in just... Okay, I'm going to break things for a second. Hang on. Sorry, everybody. I've broken some stuff. Right, put that in like that. That connects all that back up again. And then, can we have... This is going to be very silly. A, a sideways tunnel going like that. And then we need a sideways tunnel like that, I think. And then we want a downward tunnel like so. And an upward tunnel. And that connects that. Hooray! Look, we've got a ludicrous tunneling system. But there we go. Um, okay, sick bay unlocked. Uh, okay, right, hang on, hang on. Are we going to get hit by a meteor soon? There is not a thing on the map telling us where we're going to get hit, which is okay. I think maybe... Uh, where's our little thing over here? Can we build some more of these? Can we get some more miners? Uh, yeah, we've got... I've got loads of the um, conductor material. Yeah, do loads of this. So one, and two, and three, and four. And then get a couple of haulers as well. Just really invest heavily in that. That's got to be a good thing. And um, Landon, you can go into there. You can work in the miner factory. It's what you've always dreamed of. Right, so, so now more Terra Miner pods. Uh, let's get these. Where are they? Just there. Although, have we have yeah, got two research points. That looks like the research button. Oh, here we go. Tall Razor Blueprint. Tunnel Hub Blueprint. Learn more ways to connect pods. Entertainment Center Blueprint, you say. That seems quite exciting. Um... And then all this stuff down here. Storage pod unlocked. Okay, that could be quite good. And all this stuff down here is a lot of research points. Okie dokie. Uh, let's get the basic stuff. Let's get the tall razor thing done. And we'll have the new tunneling stuff. Whatever that might be, I'm not quite sure. Tunnel hub. Is that a new thing down here? Storage pod. That could be useful. Uh, let's put that over here. Let's drop that in like that. No. Can't be placed. Oh, can't be placed on the ground. Oh, okay. That that does complicate matters somewhat. Oh, no. Okay, hang on. We can put it over here. Uh, yes. If we put it there and then we can get one of these. There's a tunnel hub. Oh, it's like a four-way thing. That's what we needed. Then do that. Right. So we've got the new storage thing set up. Uh, yeah, two Terra Minor pods. So let's get these both in to give us some more building materials. Because we yeah, we really need more building materials. Oh, I think... Oh, okay. It just landed on one of our Terra Minor pods. Okay, fine. Thank you, Asteroid. I wasn't even paying attention. I didn't even notice. Okay. <laughs> Botherations. Okay, never mind. We're very near the edge of the map over here. They can come and pick up all that stuff. We will go back and connect these up again. Uh, do you know what? Well, in case we want to come that way, we will put in an exciting new tunnel hub. And then we will have 
a downward tunnel and a downward tunnel and then just a straight tunnely bit going there which we can't have for some reason even though it was okay on the other bits uh, there like that there we go and one like that and then we can have are we going likely to be going that way maybe we've got room to build something at the end so like that and like that okay so now we're generating a lot of the red stuff so much of the red stuff um increase storage capacity okay that should be fine pop another one of those in uh oh no another three of these good grief okay uh we will put them on the top of these because i then think if we do it right we can build the downward connecty teacup handle things and then connect them up properly so i think let's just do an experiment so that's on the top not being connected but then if we do vertical tunnel like that it's still not connected okay why, why not though <laughs> explain to me why game uh okay well we'll blow that up and that up that that didn't go entirely according to plan where's the storage thing that we had before there uh i mean yeah that should work it should work i don't know why that didn't work why didn't that work storage pod uh let's put it on these low lower down ones then so that is definitely one of those connecty bits so this should work vertical tunnel to there okay 100 more storage right and do the same on this one so another storage pod let's bring it around so it looks the same boop like that and get one of those and boop over there lots of teacup things going on so we're on 500 out of the 700 storage capacity we need okay that's fine to me it's possibly getting a little bit sad <laughs> maybe in the lounge we should put yeah unassign you oh hang on where's to me unassign to me uh in where is to me in there uh yeah unassign you put a liver into there maybe and then put to me into there cheer up to me don't get so sad you're on 35 percent morale so we need another two of those big storage things now where can they go they could go on here they could live on top of these so if we get a storage pod put it like that get another one like that and then you know what's coming teacup handles hooray okay goal complete this is wonderful build new lounges we've already got lounges game we're gonna have so many lounges so much lounging is gonna happen uh okay we can do that um i think we've got plenty of resources we've got so many resources uh we'll just stack them oh new people have joined oh do you know what oh chloe and matt though didn't get to join in last time they didn't get to join in on the original sort of arrival here on planet deirdre let's go for let's go for chloe 10 percent chance to trigger a positive event twice we haven't seen any positive events at all but you, you've come dressed as a superhero so like, chloe in you come welcome aboard and you chloe where can you go and work maybe what we short of power possibly uh you can work in there chloe for a bit there you go you enjoy you have fun doing that uh we will have one of those and we will have let's have a tunnel hub so we can go out this direction if we need to and yeah can we do a downward tunnel bit there to connect that up there we go wonderful we've done that build new quarter pods I, again we've kind of covered this off game but okie doke this is fine um so put them in where do we put these uh i'm very tempted to put them here like that and then get the demolish tool at the standby blow that thing up that's going to make everyone over here very sad but then put that back in ah i can't do it there we go and then have a three-way tunnel in fact there's no point because we can't go any further that way so just have a turn tunnel like that and then we need to connect those up so downward tunnel boop like that okay right it's looking good we've got lots of cups of tea everywhere it's marvelous assign all settlers to pods um do we have somebody who isn't in a pod i thought everybody was assigned um 
we, we've done that game. We, we've done this one. Maybe we need to take them out again. Landon, where are you? Um, okay, go into there. Take you. Oh, we're going to get here. Oh, no, it's over. Oh, no. Little vehicles. Holobots. Flee. Flee the zone, holobots. Run away. Oh, the mining thing might possibly get blown up. Oh, sorry for disturbing. We hope you're enjoying the demo. You can keep playing, but we won't share plans for the early access release. Okay, this makes sense, because, you know, it is a demo. They're trying to push the game a bit. Five carefully designed planets with unique environmental challenges, like big meteors dropping on your head, 70-plus building pods, 10 starship parts, 100 settlers with new bonuses. There can be 100 different people, all with their own little kind of individual artwork face. That's quite good. Um, okay, I mean, yeah, that's good to know. Um, I want to come out of that, though. Oh, where? Oh, there we go. Right, we've come out of that. I want to just sort of get some spaceshipy stuff done, if we can. I don't quite know how we do that. We've got four research points. Focus on gaining faster research. Ah, observatory blueprint. That would make sense. Get more research, and then we can just you know, carry on doing even more research stuff and unlock stuff quicker. I like that idea. Right, let's try and get everybody assigned to a thing. So take you out, and then reassign you there we go we've done it we've assigned everybody to a pod everyone becomes happy isn't that wonderful build a research center kind of feel like we already have one of these game but okie doke uh we'll build one of those i assume can we build on top of it can't ah, can't be placed on the ground floor that is a tiny bit of a nuisance but okay put it there and then get a connecty tunnel thingamajig right so that's in Build new pods at sixth floor or higher. Oh, that's really high up. Okay, won't bother doing that right now. Let's get in the observatory. Gain one thing every three minutes. Yes, absolutely. We will have a bit of that, thank you. Um, can't build on top. I'm building it on the floor. Can't build on top? Oh, I think it, it has to build on top, I think is what it's supposed to say. We, it must build on top. Okay, that's gone a bit weird. Um, if we put that there, like that, and then connect that up with a vertical tunnel, like so, that should be plumbed in. Uh, and then we need somebody to go and work in there. Um, do you know what? We've got resources are plenty. Let's drop Landon out of there and put Landon into the observatory. Landon... Go and observe things. Go and do some observing of things, please. And I think, really, what we need to do now is... What have we got? So a couple of research points to get the entertainment centre. That might be quite fun. Hydroponics, core drill. Okay, so these are just passive increases to all these things. We don't need those so much. I'm not so bothered about those. How do we get a spaceship? How do we do that? Launch pad blueprint. Oh, it's locked in the demo. Ah, boo game. Okay. So the whole sort of point of the level is to do all this, then put a spaceship and fly off. But alas, we can't do that in the demo. Oh, I want to put a big spaceship and fly off. Um, okay. Okay. I don't quite know what we go for. Uh, we'll research that because we can. And that like clears that down, which is all good. Um, so I think, yeah, let's get the entertainment center in. Let's get one of those in. Uh, oh, yeah, there's quite a lot of things we can build now. There are many things. I've got the surgery in. We need 500 power for that. Crikey's. Um, entertainment center. Yeah, let's put one of those in. Uh, we'll just put... Let's make it nice and easy. We've done many complicated things. Can we just drop that in wherever there's a little kind of pod opening thing? Like that. There we go. Just in and done and sorted. Yay for entertainment center. And it's going to make people a bit happier, which is wonderful. Okay, just build some storage stuff up there to complete that goal. Uh, finish three settler missions. Do the settlers have missions? Okay, have to look into that a little bit. Um, let's try and connect these up as best we can, because they're not properly connected up just yet. That should... I think that should be okay, shouldn't it? Oh, no, that one's not... Oh, no, that one's not connected. Okay, hang on. No, I've not done that right. I've not done that right. Get rid of the tunnel bits. Boom, boom, away with the tunnel bits. So we need... We try and come around this way. That one's got to be connected up a floor. So connect that like that. And then connect that one to the upper one. And then like that. Okay, right. That's what we have to do. Boop, boop, boop. Sorted. Okay, plenty of storage. Loads and loads of storage space now, which is brilliant. That's all very good. 
Um, we are go Oh no, no game. No, I, I, I protest most heartily. And in comes an asteroid to ruin all of the things. Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what was there. I don't even know what was there. Let's connect all the things up. For I mean, that's floating in space now. I don't know what to what was here. I've got no idea. <laughs> Botherations. Okay, never mind. Right, connect that up like that. That must have had uh, a bit like that. Um, I don't know what... Oh, that was leading to something down here, but I don't know what that was anymore. Um, yeah, well, our storage just gone a bit wonkaloids. Have we still got the science buildings? Have we still got those? I think we can demolish the floaty thing. That can go away, because that's not doing anything. Um, I don't know what was over here. I can't quite recall. We should have checked before it got blown up. Um, how about we get in... Uh, where's the other research stuff? Where is it? Observatory. Let's get some of these in. Uh, oh, no, it's got to... Hang on a minute. Can the research station go on the floor? That also has to go up in the air. What a nuisance. Uh, I, I'm fairly sure there was a greenhouse over here somewhere. We'll put a greenhouse back in, <laughs> like so. And just hope that that was what was there. I'm not entirely convinced it was. I'll put that in like that. And we will then just have... I mean, there was something there. I don't know what was there. Let's put something there. And then we'll put science stuff on top of it. Um, oh, there were the silicon factories. That was what was over here. It was silicon factories. Okay. Um, yeah, where's the... Where's the door bit? It's on this. I think that's got a door bit on it. Um, and then we should be able to then connect that up across like that. And the silicon factory is not connected because I've not put it in the right place. Yay! <laughs> Get rid of that. Put the silicon factory back in, dearie me. Uh, yeah, that should be all right. That should be connected. That's not connected. The building at the top isn't connected. Why... Is the building at the top not connected? Uh, there must have been some clever arrangement going on here. Hang on, we can sort that out with vertical tunnels. Yay for teapots. Okay, right, that's all done. And then I think over here, we get in a couple of observatories just to really ramp up the science points, just to make sure that we can go and get all the research done. Because I think if we can't build the spaceship to get off the planet, we might as well try to do a lot of research stuff just because that seems like a sensible thing to do. So, uh, so yeah, there we go. More little kind of teapot handle things. I mean, that looks like a proper teapot. That's magnificent. Can we just the... Um, ah, we can. Yes, look at that. <laughs> it's a teapot with a handle and a spout. We've created a thing of brilliance in space. Okay, this is good. This is good. Um, so I think... I think what we'll do is we've got 13 research points... I don't know how many we need to do this stuff. Um, okay, we'll get a hydroponics bay. Uh, we'll have that. And we'll have a core drill thing. We'll have one of those. And we'll have a nuclear reactor pod. We'll have one of those. And we'll have an LK99 enrichment pod blueprint. Because who doesn't want one of those in their life? So we'll have one of those. And then really, what do we need now? 6, 12, massive penge. Um, 6, 12, 16... 24 research points and we can just get everything. We can just get all these things done. Yeah, okay. That seems fun. I mean, the trade satellite might be quite fun. That might be a fun thing to look at. So, uh, yeah, okay. That's what we'll do. We just wait and unlock all the research points and then try and unlock all the things that we can. Oh, there are the settler missions down there. They've each got their own little kind of objective. Okay, so we would like Sophia to gain additional yellow conductive stuff. Right, I think, Sophia, there is a place for you to go. How about you nip into the silicon factory? You go into there, please. We have got a few people that are not assigned to anything. What are people's goals? Use additional razors. Spend resources. That one's done. Chloe would like... Oh, Chloe's one is done as well. That's good. That one is complete. Harper's one is complete. Liam's is complete. Olivia's is just complete. Okay, so I think really it's a case of who can we do? Use three additional razors. Sophia, I mean, that's going to just tick up anyway, so that will, that'll finish that eventually. It'll take a while to get done. Um, that one is finished. Yeah, I think they're mostly all done. Use additional razors. And we could, 
we could just put some of those in just for the sake of it. We could just throw them in to get the job done and go, hooray, look, we've completed the objective. Aren't we brilliant at this? We could just do that. It's a bit of a bodge, but it would work. We could also do with a bit coming out here, look. Maybe get a little road coming along here and stick some buildings on it. That might also be quite useful. How about we cause a bit of a crisis for now? So destroy that and then put in a tunnel hub like that, just in case we can do something that way. Um, and then can we have a three-way hub thing going that way and then we can just put something here we can put one of the new buildings in we have got a couple of these sort of nuclear reactors or whatever they are maybe an entertainment center might be a fun thing to have let's get one of those in shall we let's try and zoom the camera around so we can see where the front might be oh uh, yeah that looks like it should connect okie doke there we go wonderful that's all in we have a new entertainment center and people are going to be very very happy about it so yeah where are the um what was your one again was it you additional razors um i mean do we just put three of them in just to complete that goal i might just do it yo it's a bit of a bodge but one two three hooray they've got their dream completed now we completed that goal everyone gets a bit happier finish an ore on the map ah we completed that reach 10 research credits we've got 19 game but okay let's go and spend some uh we've not got that many left i don't think uh we can have a bunk call we can have a landing pad that's what we're gonna get um a surgery suite okay nobody's ill just yet and we can get a trade satellite okay so we've nearly completed it we need six more research points and then we can unlock the final few well the final thing however it would be fun to get in the where is it the landing pad so it allows air supply drops to arrive every five minutes and a trade satellite oh that look at that look at the amount of resources it requires but i imagine it's very exciting um can't place on the ground uh let's put that all the way up there let's put it at the highest point we can do it because you know it's a satellite and it should be high up it's nearer to space like that and then connect that up and like that and it's working and what we do with that i'm not 100 percent sure i don't know <laughs> what can we do with that um got the control panel there's all of our settlers the economy i'm sure is looking fine it's looking pretty good they're both locked away um okay i don't know if the satellite does anything in the dem oh it's there it's there it, i can see it sort of the top of the thing hello satellite uh oh here look we trade on this thing oh okay so we could if we wanted to top up conductive material uh give them yeah like that so we can just do some easy trading oh okay so we give them now it goes up a little bit but yeah we give them some of one thing and we get another of another thing okay so if we give them 100 of that we get a bit of that okay yeah that's quite fun i like that i like the way it's just sort of hovering not in orbit <laughs> that's not how satellites work i don't think but okay don't we will let it slide so i think really the final thing i would like to get in just to see how it works is the landing pad uh, because yeah it allows what's that air supply drops every five minutes so what if we just put a landing pad uh let's put it there think that's a sort of a docking point thing isn't it um like that do that boop landing pad is in so what do we do with that that's a minor factory okay i d did i click minor factory i thought i clicked landing pad <laughs> hang on maybe that's not quite in the game yet landing pad oh okay i i somehow clicked on a mining factory i don't know how i did that okay something weird happened um if we put that there how does that work though does it just oh does it not need to be connected i shoot oh oh hello <laughs> a thing has appeared right we've got a load of goodies and now people can just come and take them away what do we have do we find out what resources are in these boxes i'm not entirely sure well, that's quite fun we'll get some more of these um little bots in because why not we'll get some more haulers and there we go four of those and i think oh hang on where did the meteor hit are we all still intact i think 
We're all... St- uh, land over there, look. Because that's where the bits are. Uh, I think that's about it. I think that's kind of right now all we can do in the demo. I think we've got the final bit of research to unlock. Uh, a drone bot to repair malfunctioning pods. For old time's sake, game, we will get one of those in. Let's put one of those in. Hang on a second. Whereabouts is it? Repair station. Oh, we are very short of things. We need you know, a good chunk of power and a good chunk of the yellow resource as well. Um, Okay, okay. No, that's fine. We can't do anything with it now. I mean, is it worth waiting? How much is that ticking up? I'm not quite sure if that's ticking up quick enough. Uh, what I don't want is to get hit by an asteroid. Could we do some trading? Could, could we go and request some goodies from people? Uh, come out of that a second. We need... Uh, we want to get power. So if we give them 120 of the red, we get given 100 yellowy stuff. And then we need to trade the yellowy stuff away to get the power we need. And then do that again. So 266 and 204. Does that help us get any nearer to building the thing? Um, repair station. Well, now we're short of the red stuff. We're okay for some of it. We're now short on the red. But the red stuff ticks up quite quick. Uh, and we're nearly there with power. Do you know what? We'll wait. We'll wait. Hopefully it'll happen in the next four minutes. Because I don't want to finish up with us being blown apart by a meteor. Because that would be sad. Um, so yeah, we'll wait until we have 300 building material. We'll wait until that comes in. I don't want to spend anything else, though, because it might lessen our resources to build the repair thing. Um, and then we'll just get that in. We'll just put one of those in and just see what happens with it. I'm sure it'll be very exciting. Right, there we go. We have many, many little red building material triangles, which is good. So we should be able to build the repair station thingamajig. There we go. I've got a little place for it all set up already, which is good. Pop that in. And how does that work exactly? There's a little sort of flying thing there, shooting a laser. So I assume, I don't think sort of damaged things are in this version of the game, but I assume if things do get damaged, that will then fly about and fix things up a bit, which is wonderful. And we are going to get hit by a meteor in a very short amount of time indeed. So I think what we'll do is we will wrap things up for now. And as we do the little wrap up bit, we possibly might see everything get destroyed. It depends where the meteor lands. If it's in the middle, then that would be quite bad, wouldn't it? But there we go. I think, had this been the proper game, we could have got the spaceship researched and built and everything else because we have got quite a lot of resources. So we would have been off this planet and on to the next, I believe. But uh, yeah, I think we'll wrap things up for now. I've quite enjoyed this. It's been fun. It's been a fun little game. I was quite surprised with all these people here where you can assign them and they've got their own little missions and things. That's quite a nice touch. That sort of adds a little bit of a little bit of an extra thing to think about while you're playing. Just, you know, can you complete their goals? Do you get some good stuff from it? All that kind of stuff. And I do like it. Oh, it's going to blow up all the stuff down here. Oh, the satellite. Oh, dear. OK. <laughs> right. Prepare for explodey things happening. Let's watch with a final explosion. Boom. That tower goes down. I don't know how they've managed to not fall down because they're now not connected to anything. Yeah, they're just they're just floating. They're doing a Minecraft. They're doing a Minecraft thing, but okay, fine, there we go. So, I mean, that's the hazard of this particular planet. I don't quite know what happens with the other planets. I don't know what their kind of dangers are or whatever, but, uh, you know, that's you know, environmental hazard. That's what happens if you come to work here on planet Deirdre. You might get hit in the head by a gigantic meteor. But, uh, yeah, overall, I've had a lovely time with it. I do quite like the idea. I quite like the idea of it, of, you know, trying to get the resources. It's a shame we couldn't build the ship. That's all. It's a shame we couldn't use those resources to then go and build the ship. It was a bit of a shame because I thought that'd be quite a good point to wrap things up. But, uh, but yeah, never mind, never mind. It wasn't to be in the demo, but yeah, in the full game, I think we would have got there. And I think it looks quite good. I think it looks quite nice. I like the fact you can stack all the buildings up, connect things up with the little kind of corridor type things. Got little kind of drones going around the place, many different types of buildings. There's research to do and everything else. So, so overall, I've had a lovely time. And uh, yeah, we might possibly pop back to this when it's a little bit more developed maybe when we can go and get in a spaceship and then nip to the next level yeah you know, see what happens there and all that kind of stuff we might well pop back to it when it's a little further along the line in terms of development but for now we shall wrap things up with our little look at stellar settlers hopefully you have enjoyed this if you have please do leave a like that would be most marvelous indeed and if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense that we get up to in the geek cupboard but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i'll see you next 
time. It's got spinny bits on it. It's got whooshy bits coming out of the spinny bits. Whippily wavy round science cylinders. And there's the sun. I can tell that's the sun because it's the hot thing in the middle. It's not a good day for science. It's not a good day to be a scientist. It's almost like I shouldn't be put in charge of running a gigantic spaceship that is the last hope of mankind. 